Hey guys, I'm BK. I hope you all find. So today we're going to explore Trivi. If you are new to Trivi, definitely this video will help you. If you spend like 18 minutes on this video, end of this video, definitely you will know everything about Trivi, like Trivi architecture, how this Trivi is working, and what are the commands of Trivi, and by using Trivi, what are the things we can do. We're going to do a hands-on. As well as we're going to see the architecture of Trivi. Okay. So this is the repository link I am using this TV video. You get this link on this video description. You don't need to worry about the commands which I perform in this video. I have only limited time, so that's why I'm speaking very fast. Okay, I'm going to perform a command called TV images on my Docker image. So before we perform this image, before we come perform this command, I'm going to explain what is TV means. In simple term, TV is a vulnerability testing tool. By using TV, what we can do is we can uh, find the vulnerabilities in Docker. A Docker image and we can find the vulnerabilities in Kubernetes cluster and also we can find the vulnerabilities in Terraform file and also CloudFormation file and also we can find the vulnerabilities in AWS and uh, Git, Git repository. So we can do this kind of thing by using Trivi. So first we are what we are doing is by using this command we are trying to perform we are trying to scan the vulnerabilities in my Docker image. So this is a local Docker image. I want to enter this. You see this is a command I'm using Trivi image and this is my local image. So when I when I perform this command, what actually happening behind the scene? So we're going to see the Trivi architecture, how this architecture is working. So this is your laptop. You have successfully installed Trivi on your laptop. So this is a Trivi. So now you're going to perform a command. So command called Trivi images and your Docker image. Okay, what Trivi will do? Trivi will check your local Docker image capacity, which is a Docker images. You see, Trivi will check all the Docker images. Trivi will match this image. So this is the image I'm using here. They will get this image. Okay. Trivi, if not match this image, if this image is not available in my local repository, Trivi will directly go to the Docker Hub. So this is a Docker Hub. You all know what a Docker Hub means. So Docker Hub is a place where all the public and the private image will store. Okay. So Trivi will directly go to this uh, repository and find the image and uh, it will find only the public uh, public images okay and pull back the image to my local and it will scan okay now we have that image in our local what we will do so trivi will check the layer so as you all know how the docker file looks like how the docker image looks like so docker image looks like layer okay so this is a docker image architecture so layer like this. Oh, sorry. Okay, this is a Docker image architecture. So we are uh, posting a Docker series. If you are new to Docker, first go to my go to watch my Docker series. So then only you will get a more understanding about this Docker file architecture. So this is a Docker file ar architecture look like like a layer. Okay, Trivi will check all the layer. Okay, like this. First it will check the this layer and second layer and third layer. In my Docker image, I may use some modules, right? So Trivi will check that modules are so then it will get back all the response to the Trivi server. Okay, then Trivi has a database. So this is a Trivi database. So that, that database, we have all the predefined vulnerabilities. Okay, so predefined vulnerabilities and Trivi will match this to this and this to this like this. Okay, if Trivi find any vulnerabilities, if any vulnerabilities match this database, Trivi will show like this. You see? So now, now I hope you guys understand where this library and vulnerabilities and severity sta status and the installed version and the fixed version and title, everything comes from. Okay, this is a simple Trivi architecture. I hope you guys understand this Trivi architecture concept. Okay. Now by going to this repository, we performed this command, which is a Trivi, uh, sorry, which is a Docker image. So by using this command, what we can do, we can scan the Docker image. So if you find, a, if you Trivi find any vulnerabilities on this Docker image, so Trivi will show this vulnerabilities on our screen. I hope you guys understand. Okay. So and also we can integrate Trivi with the uh, CSID. So we can integrate with the CSID here like this. Here you see, here I mentioned Trivi images and uh, Python app and latest. What I'm doing is, here I build the Docker image 
then i perform this trivi command by using this command what i can do is we can find the vulnerabilities right so we can find the docker image vulnerabilities so by using this trivi we can sorry uh, we can use this trivi in ci cd okay i hope you guys understand two concept one is jenkins another one is on docker image so i'm going to run this uh, jenkins so that you guys will understand okay i want to build now so this build may be a uh, fail but we will get the trivia output uh, i take some little bit time so we going to see previous build take some little time so i going to show you the you the previous build can see this so it will be stored under the workspace you see this trivi report so this is a trivi report okay here you can see this and uh, this is a vulnerability is low medium everything so i stored this in a uh, txt file so that's why it's look like it's like this Okay, go to the repository. Now, by using this trivi, we can f we can perform this f command like fs. What does this mean? So we can find the vulnerabilities in our OS level as well as we can find the vulnerabilities in file file system. Okay. For that, I going to use trivi fs, which is a file system and slash. What does the slash means? So if I perform on this, if I perform this command. do we check all my root folder okay now i going to okay so now i not going to perform that command why because it takes more time so you try it by your own okay which is trivi fs which is a file system and slash so if you want to know more about trivi commands you can use like um, trivi um uh, help you see this so here this these all are the scanning commands like by using trivi we can perform this aws and config and file system images images we already we we saw and uh, file system also we already we done and the repository okay i'll go to this so your here you see So what we are trying to do is by using this trivi repo command, we are trying to scan our git repository. So this is a, a public repository, so that's why I can scan without any authentication. We're going to perform this. You see, here is a high severity. So what is this? There is a issue in Flask application. Okay. now we done three commands one is sorry four so by using trivi we can integrate with our ci cd and also we can scan docker image and also we can scan file system and also we can scan git repository or as well as we can scan docker repository also you try it by your own so this is the fourth one which is infrastructure as a code so by using this command what we can do is so by using infrastructure as a code what we can do we can uh, create a services in cloud like we can create a ec2 or we can create a virtual machine right so by using this code we can do this kind of thing so so by using this command we can scan our infrastructure as a code files i am not going to perform this one also because in my local i don't have a infrastructure as you could you try it by your own okay as well as we can perform this kubernetes okay so by using this what we can do we can scan our deployment.yml file as well as we can scan our kubernetes cluster okay this is the aws 
So I am going to perform this Trivi AWS hyphen hyphen services EC2. So what will happen? Let's see. You see this? So there is a critical three critical. So in my EC2, there is a three critical. If I want to know more about this, so I can use format which is a F as well as I can use format is JSON and O and EC2 dot JSON. Okay, that report will be stored in stored as EC2 dot JSON file. So I just want to see that file by using cat to see this. So you will get confused because this is your first time, right? So you try it by your own, definitely you will understand. Here we can see the description. So this is a description and here you can see the status. As well as you can scan S3. S3. So that one also comes under EC2 JSON. So it's supposed to be S3. Let's see this. Now I just want to scan my all AWS services. For that, what can I do? So it's very simple. AWS. I'm going to remove the service. Let's see. So you see this AWS file is successfully created. Inside the AWS file, we can see all the vulnerabilities. So, I'm not, I'm going to perform like this. Let's see. See, these all are the services, Trivi is scanning. So, the configuration, you first you need to config, configure your ser service, sorry, uh, secret key and access key on your local. Then only you can perform this command. For that, what you can do? You can perform AWS configure. C O N I G E R sorry G U R of on G the why it is not working. G U R okay. Here you need to paste your uh, access key and here you need to paste your secret key here you need to mention your uh, region and enough so once you've done this you can perform this command so I hope you guys understand this uh, to be and uh, so this is a uh, hall of food to be it's a very simple concept so I thought this video will uh, get a more time like 18 minutes but I finished this concept very fastly like uh, 14 minutes I completed this concept. So if you have any doubt on this trivi you just uh, you just uh, command okay. So by using this you can install trivi on your local by using this you can check the version. Then you perform all the commands which I mentioned to this repository. Here I not performed this IAC and KAS which is uh, Kubernetes. Okay, you try it your own so that you will get to understand. I hope this video will help you. If you find this video helpful to you, uh, please subscribe to my channel. And uh, thank you for watching and tada bye bye.